And welcome back to the channel for part number eight of the Sims 3 A to Z baby challenge. And today I thought we could kind of start off the part by accepting some gifts just because I haven't exactly been accepting your guys' gifts over the past few parts, just because for the most part I have kind of forgot. So yeah, I figured we could go ahead and start off the part by doing that really quickly. So we have quite a few here actually. So I guess that's what I get for waiting a few days. But anyway, Anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and accept a few. So the first one I'm gonna accept is this one here. So let's see, we got two, oh, 2,000 simoleons. Oh my goodness. Yes, awesome, thank you so much. We are gonna send a gift back. Um, yes, we are going to do a luxury care package because why not? So there you go. Awesome. All right. And so now we are also going to accept this one. I'm probably just going to accept five like I have been. So it looks like we have gotten a fountain of youth elixir. Oh my gosh. We could actually use that a little bit later on. Like when, um, like if by some chance we, um, haven't made it to like tw what is it 26 babies like yeah 26 letters in the alphabet if we just so happen to not make it to 26 babies by the time uh jocelyn is about to turn into an elder we can totally just turn her like back in time we can totally just take her age back so that'll be quite awesome we're also going to accept this one here and we have gotten a mirror okay awesome so Let's go ahead and send a surprise gift box back to you. There you are, my dear. Thank you so much for those of you that have been sending me gifts as well. Honestly, it comes in quite a bit of handy, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> so we are also going to, let's see, I'm trying to like accept gifts from like more than just one person here. So let me see here. Hopefully this helps in your A to Z baby challenge. I hope so. So we're gonna accept that one and we got a football. Okay, awesome. So the kids could probably play around with that a little bit. We are going to send, let's see here. We're gonna send a luxury care package back as well. All right, so there you are, my dear. And I think that's three. Was that three? Yeah, we're also going to accept this one here. And we got 200 simoleons. Awesome. Okay, so let's do a luxury care package. There you are. Okay, so now I think we can accept like one more. So, um, yes, here you go. All right, so thank you. I am going to accept this one as well. And we got a um, wish enhancing serum. Okay, cool. So, oh no. Oh no, I thought I had, I thought I had five. I thought I had five gifts to give. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't give you a gift back. Now I feel so bad. Oh my gosh, but yes, thank you. Thank you so much to those of you that have been helping out by sending gifts and just everything. It really, really does mean a lot. It like, honestly, it helps out like so much. So I am going to log out really quick just because it lags my game to no end. We all know this. And also I kind of started off the part by doing makeovers for the for the toddlers because I completely forgot to do that in the last part, like towards the end of the last part. I was just so annoyed with the fact that um, my game was glitching out so bad and I honestly didn't even want to play it anymore. So I just kind of exited out. And honestly, right now we are having a pretty good go. Like hopefully it doesn't like get too terrible or anything, but yeah, as of right now, it seems to be working. I still don't exactly know what the whole glitch problem was. Like it just kind of happened after, I think it was Connor. I think it was, yeah, after Connor aged up, like all of a sudden I started having that weird glitch or something. But yeah, anyways, in the last part, we kind of ended the part off with our girl 
going and grabbing some pumpkins because I really, really, really wanted to have the, uh, the twins over here do some pumpkin carving because it is actually spooky day and like it's towards the end of spooky day but I still wanted them to do something for spooky day so yeah we're gonna see if we can get them to um carve some pumpkins over here so let's get Aria off the computer we're gonna have her carve a jack-o-lantern and we are going to have her do a silly pumpkin and then as far as you are concerned which where are you by the way okay so he's out back here I had no idea where he even was we're gonna have him do a jack-o-lantern we're gonna have him do a ghost all right so they're gonna carve their little jack-o-lanterns we need to get jocelyn in here to actually take care of the household because once again our sink is broken don't know when our sink broke but apparently that's a thing so we're gonna have to try and fix that again and then as far as the toddlers are concerned we have connor over here who is learning how to walk and then we also have derek over here who is learning how to talk and it looks like pocky has improved his hunting skill to level four and then we also, well, I did get a notification uh, right before I was about to do the Twins' makeover that we did actually sell some of our honey that we consigned in the last part. So we did get a little bit more money as far as that goes as well. And he wants to find a rock. Okay, so I'll just accept that for him just in case he actually does find a rock. Oh my god, are you serious? What happened? What happened? Oh, are you just pissed about this one? Okay, I can understand. <laughs> I thought she broke another sink or something. Like, I thought she broke this sink too. I was gonna be like, I'm done. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm done. Screw it, I'm rage quitting. But no, she she didn't. She, she's all good. Um, but one thing that I really was hoping to do is to hopefully finish this car because it's seriously almost done and I want the money. Like I want to move so bad, but the only problem is that I have no idea what house we'd even move into or anything. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh my gosh, I didn't even get any pictures like I wanted to. Let me try and snap a quick picture right here before, um, before Brogan actually gets up off the floor. Like, I wanted to get some kind of pictures of the kids doing their little jack-o'-lanterns here, but yeah, I'm just like flapping my gums and I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and bring their pumpkins out here, even though nobody's probably going to be able to even see them. Like, the kids did want to go, um, what is it? The kids did want to go uh oh my goodness do we actually have a trick-or-treater oh my god are you jo okay i was about to say are you joking i thought he was about to start stomping on poor brogan's pumpkin like i was about to be so mad but no it looks like we actually have a trick-or-treater but yeah i was gonna say that the kids did want to go trick-or-treating but like it was raining so bad when i started this uh when i started this save and like i don't even know where we'd go trick-or-treating too like oh my god we don't even have neighbors like we live out in the middle of nowhere and also the trick-or-treating just doesn't ever really work out for me so yeah let's go ahead why are you even here are you are you a trick-or-treater or are you not like can i not give him a treat can i not or did i have to wait okay okay are we Oh, hey, so we are giving him a treat. Okay, so I never get trick-or-treaters. This is so cool. Oh my god. Are you like up in his face enough, girl? <laughs> like, Can we can we just please? Oh my goodness. I wanted to I want to get a picture of this because this is like such a rare occasion. <laughs> this is such a rare occasion and our poor kids are just sitting inside like wish we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she's honestly about to steal a piece of his candy. <laughs> I so would. Like, not really, though, but in a game like this, I so would take a piece of a kid's candy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So now that that is done and out of the way, so I think it was Connor that learned how to talk. So we're going to get you to come inside over here and pick up Connor. Did the kids get their homework done at all? Okay, so yours is done. And then yours is done as well. Okay cool cool stuff so it is actually getting pretty late and you are getting hungry so let's have you eat 
I guess a cake slice. <laughs> We're going to have the kids eat cake for dinner. You need to take yourself a shower and then you also need to come inside here and go to sleep. And then after you get done eating, you can go to sleep as well. So she has just picked up uh, Connor. Okay. So what does he need? He is actually doing, okay. Yeah, I am on the right one. <laughs> He's actually doing pretty good. So I am going to have you come over and put him down over here because I wanted to pick up Derek. Did he even finish learning how to talk? He did, okay. So I wanted to move this little playpen around because apparently I have it set to where um, not both of the kids can be in there. So I really wanted to fix that. So we are going to pick up Derek and get him out of the playpen. We're probably gonna put him over in the uh, walker so that he can learn how to walk because he is also doing pretty good like I'm not even gonna have to worry about about the twins or anything they're they're like golden okay so I think that is how it's supposed to be so that should work a little bit better all right so let's get you to put Derek in the walker and then you can go ahead and put Connor into the playpen like so much stuff is happening right now honestly okay so put Connor in the playpen and then while you are doing that, oh my gosh, we have another little trick-or-treater. Dennis Chesterfield is a little wiener dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. All right, so after we put him in the in the playpen, I suppose we can go ahead and give him a trick-or-treat as well. Or, or not, you know, he can totally do his homework on my front lawn. That's fine too. We're going to get rid of this newspaper. And now let's get, okay, so much stuff is going on right now. I have to like collect myself. <laughs> let's get you to learn how to talk. I'm still kind of wondering why Connor has silver eyes like that's kind of weird but I'm also not worried about it like I think I said in the last part that I'm totally fine with him having silver eyes he can like be weird in that regard <laughs> all right so go ahead and learn how to walk you gave him your little your little treats all right so let's have you come inside repair the sink for like the second time I still don't even know how this thing broke like, when did it break? I wasn't paying attention. Like, I really wasn't. I think one of the kids might have broken it. I do not know. Let's also have her clean out the bad food. And then we're probably going to have her um, mop up the puddle. Okay, so who just learned something? Derek just learned how to walk. Okay, cool. So now all we have to do is potty train him. And then he should be good to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, if you even start heading towards my plants, I will delete you. I am not afraid to delete a zombie, okay? Oh, there she goes. She's trying to head over to my plants to try and eat them. I promise, I promise, I will delete you. I will. Don't test me. She's testing me guys. She's testing me. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not having you eat my plants, okay? It's just not going to happen. Oh my goodness. All right, but let's go ahead and speed on through this. The entire reason why she even showed up is because when I started this save, it was on a full moon, and even though I changed it to something else, it apparently doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, so Connor just learned how to talk, which is all good. So now I suppose we can just have you pick up Derek, and I'm just going to let them... Oh geez, now who do we got? We have Kyle Anderson. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's probably gonna head over for my plants too. Let's have you uh, put Derek down over here. I'm just not even gonna worry about them like with their needs because they are all good. I'm just gonna let them like chill, chill out over here like no problem. All right, so she needs to go to bed. I'm gonna let her go to sleep and then you, you're doing pretty good. So I'm just gonna let you, why can't he play? Okay, play with the abacus, play with the mirror, just play. Just play. <laughs> Alrighty, and then uh, you, my dear, can come over here and like play with the little xylophone. And in the meantime, while everybody is kind of doing their own thing, sleeping and whatnot, I am going to speed on through the night and I will go ahead and pick back up in the morning after somebody has woken up. Alright, you guys, good morning and welcome back. So it is about 6.30 in the morning and the kids are just getting ready to head on off to school. And we also have Jocelyn trying to take care of the little ones ones because they are not exactly having a good morning. We are going to feed little Derek on the floor and then we are going to have you, my dear. Let's go ahead and have you pick up uh, Derek or did I say, wait, 
No, 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 no. I want you to pick up Connor. There we go. For a minute there, I thought Connor was Derek. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a freaking mess when these kids get older. Oh my gosh. We're going to have Arya come in here and use the bathroom. And then I suppose we can also have her brush her teeth. And then you, I guess, can like brush your teeth out here in the kitchen. Like that's kind of weird. It, it's, I don't know. Like I feel it's kind of unsanitary, but like not really at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So do you need anything you kind of do? Let's have you go out over here and we are going to have you feed, um, uh feed Connor on the floor and then she can actually make some breakfast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I know. I know you're miserable right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and feed him on the floor. Does he need anything else? Uh, not really. Okay, so we're just gonna feed him on the floor and then we are going to put Derek over into the crib so that he can go to sleep because he is getting pretty tired. Did I call him? Okay. I see, I know, I told you guys, I told you guys. It's gonna be so weird and so confusing to get these, get all these names right. I feel like Derek is Connor and Connor is Derek. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so, this is such a disaster. Such a disaster. And then he's not even really that tired because he literally spent the entire night in the playpen. So instead of just kind of putting him in the crib after he finishes eating, we are probably going to potty train Connor. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to potty train Connor and the kids should be leaving for school here in about a half hour. So Arya, my dear, let's get you to come out over here out of the bathroom and then you are totally fine. I think I have autonomy turned off. So yeah. All right, there we go. Let's just go ahead and turn that back on so that they'll actually take care of themselves. There we go. And let's bring this back over here so that it's out of the way. And then Jocelyn, we need to get you to clean that until it's pristine because that is just absolutely disgusting. That is gross. <laughs> so yeah, let's just fast forward through this here. We can get her to make some breakfast. And then I was really hoping to try and get some other guy over here so that we can, um, try for another baby, even though it's, I'm already like losing my mind. <laughs> I'm honestly already losing my mind and I need to delete your little guy over here because I am just not having one of these things. No, you're not going to play with that. You can play with the little dinosaur for all I care. Okay, so there you go. He's going to play with the little dinosaur. All right, so let's have you serve some breakfast. We're going to do some pancakes. Hopefully she doesn't make watermelon pancakes or apple pancakes or whatever. Any other pancake will be totally fine. And then we also have this dish to clean up. Oh my goodness, these kids are slobs. <laughs> these kids are such slobs. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's just have you kind of speed on through this here. Please don't set anything on fire. That's all I can really ask of you. She wants to potty train Derek which we definitely should do. She also wants to buy a seesaw and then attack Connor with the claw. Alrighty, so what pancakes did you make? She made strawberry pancakes. Okay, that sounds delicious. Alrighty, so let's speed on through this too. I don't even know if we should try to get anybody over here to be perfectly honest with you. I feel like having her try for another baby at this point in time would just be a complete train wreck. What are you doing? Oh, you're using the bathroom. Okay. Well, that's fine. Ew, no, that's gross too. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, let's have you um, put away the leftovers and then you can clean that up. There we go. And then we should go ahead and clean that until it's pristine. Oh my goodness, she wants to clean the dishes. Okay, so she's going to do that anyways. All right, there we go. So easy wish kind of taken care of. All right, so now how are you doing, Connor? He is starting to get a little tired now. So we are going to put Connor in the crib and then we are going to have her come outside and work on this car body. I am so determined to have her finish this. Come on, figure it out, guys. It's it's no big deal. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Go ahead and go to sleep, my dear. You are getting pretty tired. All right, so let's just speed on through this here. How much longer? Yeah, see, we're like so close to being done, but also not because this goes by like so slow. So slow, and what's your problem? Oh my goodness, this dog though. <laughs> This dog, though, go ahead and chew on your little chew toy and then come over here and eat the food because you are getting pretty hungry. And then he also is going to need some social here. Have you found anything for us? Oh, my goodness. 
He found us a geode. We're going to bring that over here. He also found us a rainbow gem. Good deal. And a septarian nodule. Okay. So cool. He is so, he is such an amazing dog. Oh my gosh. We're going to sell these because those are no good to us. He wants to dig a hole, dig up something. So I guess I can just lock those in. <laughs> Go for it. All right. So let's see here. Let's just get as much done as we possibly can. Yeah, probably not going to be trying for any babies in this part, I reckon. But like next part, next part, you guys, it's so going to happen. <laughs> it is so going to happen. And the kids are home from school now. Oh my gosh, this lag though. Um, let's have you go ahead and get this cut into a polished split cut. We are going to have you cut that into an emerald cut and a polished split cut for that one as well. So now what's the problem? What's the problem? You need to do your homework, my dear. Okay, there we go. She's going to go ahead and do her homework and then hopefully we can get Jocelyn to, um, no, you're not going to answer the phone. Smoke the box, harvest the honey, smoke the box, harvest the honey. And then if we can, we're going to clean the box and feed the bees, clean the box and feed the bees. Okay. So I don't know if this will actually work out that well, just because she is feeling so tired right now. Oh, Hey, how, what, what was I about to say? I, I thought I was about to say hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We uh, can sign some more beeswax and some more honey. So that is cool. Awesome. And now she's, oh my goodness, she's starting to get a little bit chilly because it is like only 40 degrees, 39 degrees. Oh my gosh. I totally understand honey because it has been so cold here recently. Like fall is like honestly upon us. And I am so excited because it's like my absolute favorite time of the year. And I am going to be starting up season two of Supernatural in October. So super, super stoked about that. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Um, Brogan, let's see. You need to eat something, my dear. Let's have you eat some leftovers. I guess strawberry pancakes, because that's literally all that we have at the moment. So eat some leftover strawberry pancakes. Aria, you can do the same thing. Go ahead and eat leftover strawberry pancakes. Okay, so she was actually already going to do that. All right, so we're going to let her do that. And all right, come on, honey, you're almost done. Please do not get stung by bees this close to being done. I know you're so tired. And she wants to warm up. Okay. So after this, we're going to get her into the house and I suppose we can just have her take herself a shower and she's probably going to end up like, I don't know, passing the F out, like to be honest. Oh, and of course... <laughs> The kids are hungry and awake and throwing the biggest temper tantrum ever. Oh, Derek, you're okay. I promise you're okay. Um, oh my gosh, Brogan, can you be a deer and like pay attention to the dog for me? Like talk to him, let him sniff your hand and then give him a good brushing because he needs some social like so bad right now. And then you 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 my dear you let's have you uh feed him on the floor what else does he need okay so he is fine he is gonna be waking up or actually he is waking up here so let's have you feed him on the floor as well just really quick just really quick for me okay just really quick and she wants to clean the shower okay so we have to do that Oh my gosh, please stop crying. Please stop crying. Please stop crying. Oh my gosh. Actually, no, he's like totally fine. He's just sleeping away. He's a little upset because his brother is like screaming his head off, which honestly I would be too. Like I would be too. What's wrong? What's wrong? Did you even brush the dog like I told you to? I don't even think he did. Oh my gosh. He's like so scared of something. Go ahead and brush him. I didn't even see if he brushed him or not. So we're going to have him do that again. And hopefully... Hopefully this will give him the social that he needs. Um, Arya, what is your problem? You need to go to bed. It's like a little late for you. So let's have you, what? That's not, oh, hers is up here. <laughs> let's have you go ahead and go to sleep. And then Brogan, you can come in here and go to sleep as well. There we go. Okay, so everything for the most part is a little bit quieter now, which is nice. That's really, that's really good. <laughs> That's really good. We have Derek over here who is about to be wetting his pants. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and potty train Derek. 
Yes, Derek. <laughs> All right, there we go. Please stop crying. Oh my gosh, this girl, this poor girl is so tired. She needs to go to bed. Pocky, you need to go to the bathroom. Go ahead and go to the bathroom. And then I could have swore that I told him to chew on his chew toy, but apparently he didn't. So we're going to have him go and do that. And then hopefully after we get a uh, little one over here potty trained so that he doesn't wet his diaper, then we can actually- Oh, are you serious? Oh my god, this child. This child, he already grabbed his pants. Are you kidding me? Change his dirty diaper then. <laughs> Change his dirty diaper and then just let him be. Let him be. Go here. Now what's your problem? We can actually get to him though. We can get to him. So we're going to potty train. No, not potty train Derek. No, that's not the one. Go ahead and put Derek down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I want to try for more kids. Like, I must be out of my mind. I must genuinely be out of my mind. Let's have you potty train Connor then, because he is doing a little bit better as far as that goes. He's not as close to crap. Oh, jeez. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, so I think this is a good enough time. <laughs> I was going to try and have her potty drink on her, but this is a good enough time to probably end this part right here. Like, this poor woman <laughs> has been just worked to the bone. She is exhausted, and I'm- if she wants to, you know, pass out on the floor, then she can pass out on the floor. I just don't even care at this point. So yeah, on this note right here, I am going to go ahead and actually just wrap up this part right here. So I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please don't forget to go ahead and leave me your comments down below telling me what you thought. Also, go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up if you did enjoy it and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will talk to you guys in my very, very next video. All right, bye guys.